I'm putting this on YouTube because I want to. So that's why I do my one line a day the diaries. I'm gonna do video ones for a while while we're in Vancouver because I think in like 10 years' time it'll be exciting to look back on if we're back home. Also, that's the kettle in the back. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and it's the weekend now today, it's Saturday, so I'm gonna like. I make a lot of phone calls on Saturday morning. It's the only time you can talk to people at home. I'm literally just awake. Then our plan, Connor's football training. I'm gonna go to the gym, come home, have lunch, and then we're gonna, it's gonna be our first time driving to Costco because Connor's Evo thing got um, accepted. I don't know if I'm gonna sign up for Evo yet. Maybe not for a while. So I think it's about our day. I wonder will I ever post this. I don't think so. Since I last spoke, I went to the gym. And Connor went training, so he's still there now. It's a bit of a trek away. It's like back where our second Airbnb was. And I think the more of these little vlogs that we do, that I do, the more I like go into our first few weeks here because we've been here seven weeks which is wild because honestly when we were like preparing to come and I was packing and stuff like whenever I think about my last week at home it's like fever dream but I get like sad because I was saying bye to absolutely everyone I said bye to everyone in a week it was wild and then when I think of my last week at home and like I'm thinking about like where my mind was. I never saw us here past two weeks. And not that I thought we'd come home, but like, I just couldn't envision what we'd actually end up doing or where we'd end up living. And now we're here and you're sitting on the couch. All we have so far is a couch, the TV, the TV stand, a mattress and a bed, basically. They're like the pieces of furniture we've bought. I'm on a hunt now to get like storage because we have a lot of wardrobes. I'll give you a tour someday when it's properly, just so I have it on here. But we have like a wardrobe and it's a sliding robes, but like underneath it, there's just nowhere to put our stuff. So all our like small clothes and t-shirts and stuff are on our suitcases. They're just thrown there. So it's obviously not ideal. So we're going to, I'm going to try to find like a few chests of even plastic drawers my Kia would do, I think. And then, I'm going to go get a coffee now across the road. Connor found a nice place. We're kind of picky with our coffee because Connor hates like chains. So there's a Starbucks, like actually. So that curvy building is a Starbucks. Connor hates like chains. He hates like insomnia at home. <laughs> he hates it and Costa and so we had actually like two Starbucks and he enjoyed it but he wants he wanted to find like a really small little dainty place because in our second Airbnb we had this lovely place called Prado and we both became obsessed and we would spend hours there trying to find like if we were on Indeed and stuff and it actually gives me a bit of PTSD because Connor was so sick but he found a place a coffee place here called Bizu, B I S O U. So I'm gonna go get a coffee there. We also bought reusable cups. We bought two Yeti cups because I don't know why. They are also running low on tea bags. But anyway, after I get a coffee, I'm gonna come back, clean the place, make us lunch, and we're going to Costco. Connor's first time driving an Evo. So I'm excited. I wanted to say the main reason I started doing this with Fiona Bergen, who you all know, because it's gonna just be you watching it, actually vlogs as you definitely know and i find it great because she's not the best on snapchat as she'll tell you herself and i'm like a snapchat person still even though i'm 24 and she i like what might talk to her for like two weeks and then she uploads a vlog and i just know everything she's done so it's great and i feel like it's an easier way to communicate with people back in ireland because like i said weekends are the only time you can talk to people Siobhan's here also. She landed last night and she came, her college friend is here, so she came to visit them 
like she did her college group so i'm not gonna annoy them too much but i definitely will for her birthday on wednesday i think it is or else it's friday i'd love for it to be friday and my last random thought is i was looking at the weather this morning it's supposed to be unbelievable next weekend when i was packing i left all my swimsuits at home so i have a week to buy swimsuits that is a disaster for me It was six dollars. You are never getting a tip from me if your coffee is six dollars. And to make it worse, I forgot my Yeti at home after washing it, which I hate doing. So I'm gonna pour it in because this is gonna last me all day if it cost me six dollars. Six dollars for a coffee. If you had a five dollar bill, it wouldn't do you. First. And I was in such great form. It is delicious. I was in such great form walking over because I met a gentleman in the lift down. And he was like, you look like you could be going for a run or you could be going doing laundry. Because I was wearing a hat and I'm wearing, I don't even want to show you the floor. But I'm just wearing a hoodie and shorts. And I was like, yeah, I'm going doing one. Can I go get a coffee? He's like, is it laundry day? And I was like, no, but I had to say yes because... Otherwise, he's really insulting me. Also, the reason I'm so annoyed over that is not because of the $6 for the coffee. It's because we go to a gym down by the water, which I think it's down this way. Okay. And I woke up today and I got an email from my bank. They were like, oh, did you make this payment $52 at Club 16? And I was like, no, I didn't. And I was like, okay, better go in and ask them. And it's a random um, enhancement fee. I was like, what's an enhancement fee? And they were like, oh, it's because it's like a better equipment and like fix the change rooms and stuff. And I was like, is that not what membership's for? And she was like, no, no, that's different. I was like, okay. So I left it. Bob's my uncle nearly cried because the reason I was so annoyed over that is because yesterday I've had my um, gym attached to my Revolut card the whole time because that was all I used when I was over here, I didn't use AIB but now I'm getting like paid into my Canadian bank account now yesterday I went and my card, my I couldn't scan in and I was like what's wrong? and they were like oh they are just saying you need to pay and I was like oh grand while I'm here I'll actually change my um, my card from my Irish one to my Scotia bank they're like okay that's no bother and they're like this is $30 and I was like Mm, it should only be seven because I pay seven dollars every two weeks for um, Club 16. They're like, no, it's you get charged twenty five dollars or whatever it is because your payment didn't go through the first time. I've actually spent eighty dollars on the gym this week and six dollars on a coffee. Anyway, Connor's on his way home. I'm gonna make us tuna wraps. He doesn't like tuna that much. I make it quite nice. We also don't have anything else. I was gonna make him chicken, but we finished the chicken. I might make us dumplings. We enjoy dumplings now. I have so much to talk about. <laughs> okay. Connor goes into bus mode when he's on buses. He doesn't talk and he like sits like this. gone getting us he's gone putting on a load of washing we're very productive and he's gone getting us some seltzers um because we're going out with people we met last weekend we were sober like well i was connor was a little bit tipsy but we had like four or five drinks and we met them last weekend and now we're going out with them tonight we're going to go to see live music on in the shamrock bear which is like 30 meters away and I know it's an Irish pub but 
it's it's honestly just so fun. It's packed. Look at my little necklace. Cure Buckley's family got them for me. Um, they got me matching a matching bracelet too. I get a lot of compliments on it. When we go there, you hear a lot of Irish accents, and there's like pictures of potatoes. I'm just making his home. On the topic of missing home, before I make, we're gonna have tacos for dinner, and I'm gonna make them now. But Tara Collins told me, like, I think she sent me like a long paragraph on WhatsApp, maybe when we were flying out, and had like little bits of advice about living abroad because she's done a lot of living abroad. And one of the things I genuinely am like, it's just so true, is when you got off the phone with your family and your friends that is when you're like the most homesick she was like for the first few weeks try not to be in contact with them every day like on the phone to them every day and it was like i was like no i'll be fine fine you get so homesick after talking to people i was on the phone to my aunt this morning and i got off and i just like shed a few tears and i was fine like literally three minutes later but it just makes you think of everything you're going to be missing like she was on about summer and we were on about going down to Kerry and stuff and it's just like sad. You just miss a lot when you're abroad. And I haven't, I would say I haven't felt homesick at all yet. And Connor hasn't either, but like once you get off the phone with your family, you are a bit sad. It's probably the saddest you get. Dinner is served. We went for the hard tacos, mince. I did cheese, mince, homemade salsa. No, I did cheese, mince, cheese. Homemade salsa and gelatinos, and then the spare mints on the side. Connor doesn't like spice, but he likes sriracha, so he puts sriracha on his. I won't be putting them on mine. I have a lot to say. I was thinking about this just during the day, and I was like, I'm not gonna say it all now because that'd be so boring. But like, I am constantly think like talking to myself in my mind. I feel like that's quite odd. Where is it? I don't know. But I also don't know how people vlog every day. Do you remember, remember like Zoella and Alfie? Like, I still watch them, I love them. But Alfie used to vlog every day for like years. It was wild. I'm not gonna show you the full bathroom. It's actually quite, when you're in Costco, time doesn't exist. You come out and the weather's completely different and the evening. The whole day is completely different, I'm convinced. Yeah. I wonder if this will ever surface. Like, will I actually end up uploading this? It'd be interesting to see. I'd like to be able to look back on it. And be like, oh my god, I remember a bathroom. <laughs> my favorite story was like my main thing for when we got here, and I've already watched it all back because, like, Staying in our first Airbnb genuinely feels like a fever dream. Connor was so sick for the whole week that um, it was a bit, it wasn't ideal, but it was such a nice Airbnb. We loved it actually there. We were really, really comfortable. Then we had to move when we were sick and, and the lad that we moved to, his name was Tim. He got on well, and the, but there was only like two pans there. And I got a message from him like two days ago saying, did you take, it's like, hi Christine, hope the new apartment's going well. Just wondering if you took any extra pots and pans from our trip, from staying in our house. And I was like, no Tim, there were literally two pots and pans. The lighting in this bathroom is quite nice, but I'm ready, kind of. I'm not gonna get changed or do my hair. I've decided I'm gonna just throw my plaid and hold the cans down. And then I, we're gonna have pre drinks. We were supposed to be there 10 minutes ago. Connor's watching boxing. Good morning. It's half eight. Or 29 now. It's Sunday and I've just woken um, for like an hour. I got out of bed now to watch the end of the game. I'm having a cup of tea. Last night was so fun. So we went out at like nine and we were meeting our two new friends and 
we went to go with a shamrock down the road and it was too busy. So they didn't let us in, so we were like, okay, we'll just come back here. We tried like three other places and they're all full, so we are like, okay. We were at like peak times, so we were like, we'll try here. We'll just come back here, have a few drinks. Connor waited downstairs for them and I like, ran around the place. Like trying to clean up. I threw everything in our bedroom and then Connor showed them our bed, so. These are the setup currently. I'm in my gym gear for when I have to shake. If I ever want to go to the gym. Gym gear? I will go to the gym later. I just got off the phone with Matt and her for doing and I also made burgers as in like the patches and the food. Sunday. We just got home. We wanted to go for a walk, but it was lashing rain, so we just went down to Robson Street and we went for a stroll around to a few nice shops. Didn't buy anything, but then we bought twenty dollars worth of Korean tea. But we both hated it. We just went to like a Brecca coffee, and it was one of those places that we went the first few weeks that we got here. So it was really nice to go back. It's like 10 past 7, so we're gonna just clean until half past and then we're just gonna chill, hop in the shower, um, add some ramen, and yeah. I'm excited for the week because it's gonna be sunny and stuff. And